Hello, I'm Pablo and I will be talking to you about the Southwestern furniture style. To start with some characteristics, it deals with the usage of desert tone colors, iron workings and pottery, and also textile craft which includes rugs, textiles, leather, any kind of animal skin. And another big part of it is wood. Wood is going to be really prominent. It's going to be in its natural color and the furniture is going to be chunky, rustic look and it's going to be oversized. Another really significant uh, influence or characteristic is the Native Americans. You can see a lot of their cultural influences in this furniture style. History wise, the Southwestern furniture style is just a combination of a lot of influences from the Spanish, the Native American and the American uh, pioneers. The Spanish first influenced the Southwesterns, which was the Navajo people in Arizona and New Mexico, and it was later uh, influenced by the American pioneers of the Wild West. So after the furniture style developed for a couple of years, in today's world, the Native American uh, influence is kind of going away as many of the furniture is manufactured and it's fake. None of, none of it is like original. They're made to look like they're from uh, original Navajo culture, but they're not. So one way you can help it is uh, by buying the du directly from the Navajo artisans that work on original rugs and pottery instead of buying from uh, furniture stores. For example, in this bed, you can see that the headboard and the bottom of the bed are both uh, wood. You can see the wood, which is one of the characteristics, and also the iron workings at the bottom of the bed. And another one is just how big and oversized the furniture is. Like you can tell it's going to be big and it's maybe going to look uh, crowded in a room. For, ex for this example, it's a sofa. First, you can see the wooden legs. Second, it's just the colors of the entire sofa, which is going to be the descent tone colors. You have the brown, the red of the sun, and also the tan for like the environment of the desert. But you also have the Native American patterns on the pillows. In this example, it uh, also deals with the Native American patterns, for example, in this pillow in here, but also with the colors of the desert, like the blue of the sky, you have the orange for like the sun, and then you have the browns for the environment in the desert. Another one would be how it's made of leather. So a lot of the Native Americans, they use leather. So that's one of the main characteristics. For this uh, carved chest, you can see that uh, there's iron workings on the top. You also see how chunky the legs are. And it's also an oversized furniture. So it's just really big and massive so in a room it's going to look crowded. For this example it's also you can tell how uh, chunky and uh, oversized the furniture this uh, dining room hutches but also you can see the iron workings right here all around the furniture and it's made of wood and it's in its natural color. It's not like gray or blue. It's in its natural state color. So in conclusion, the Southwestern is just filled with influences from the Spanish, the Native Americans and the American Wild West. Today, it blends really well with its desert environment and it, as it is mostly in New Mexico and Arizona and it's full of ethnic and contemporary decorations. Thank you.